Senior leaders very often ask me, is there anything I can do to help my team, to help my employees become more self-aware? Because a lot of them don't seem to be aware of the impact they're having on their teammates. They just don't, don't seem to be very self-aware when it comes to their attitude, to their behaviors, to their actions. Is there anything you can suggest? Well, I've got six ideas that might help you encourage yourself and your teammates to become more self-aware because it really is an incredibly important trait when it comes to building a jerk-free, rocking, inspiring workplace. Number one, talk openly about the above average effect. And there's a very simple way to demonstrate this. Have everyone on their team write down on a scale of one to 10 how they think their own behavior, their own attitude is when it comes to them being a really effective teammate. Then, and Nobody has to share their answers here, but then ask everybody on your team to write down on that same scale of one to 10, how they think everyone else's attitude as a good team player is. And when you do this little exercise, typically what we find is eight out of every 10 people rate themselves higher than the rest of their team. That's the above average effect. Most people think they are better drivers than everyone else. Most professors think they are better professors according to studies than everyone else in universities and colleges. This happens in all professions, in all sorts of different ways, with all sorts of different characteristics. So talk about it openly, how we have a tendency to rate ourselves higher than everyone else, but is that really the case? Let's be careful of doing that and let's use this exercise to remind ourselves that ultimately all we can begin to change at work is our own attitude, our own behaviors, our own reactions to things. Number two, a very safe way to raise the level of self-awareness of teammates, I think, is to just share surveys, share top 10 lists. They could be your own surveys that you do in your own company with your own team, but also just find them online. There are so many surveys and top 10 lists about annoying characteristics of office workers, things that drive people nuts at work. And if you share these, it makes it a safe way to raise awareness about issues, about things, about behaviors that people might just not be aware of. So they see it on a survey, they see it on a top 10 list, and hopefully they will think, ooh, I think I'm guilty of number eight quite a bit. I better watch that. Number three, institute 360 degree feedback. Now this is a huge topic unto itself. You cannot just dive into the deep end of the pool without, I think, a lot of training and doing this very carefully, approaching this very carefully. But organizations that are serious, about growing organizations that are serious about developing their talent institute 360 degree feedback so that employees are getting a more realistic perspective, a more realistic input from everyone around them about what their actual behavior is. And of course, if you do this effectively, it can't help but raise everybody's awareness, self-awareness about how they really are perceived in the workplace. Number four, encourage mindfulness practices. There's all sorts of research that suggests the more we practice mindfulness, the more self-aware we become. And lots of businesses are creating meditation spaces in their businesses or quiet spaces at the very least. A lot of leaders are practicing meditation or yoga because they are seeing the impact on them selves on their stress, on their resiliency, and it does help people be more self-aware. I have heard this from so many senior leaders that it is one of the best, most powerful things they've invested in. Number five, invest in coaching training for not just your supervisors, but all of your employees to use coaching language to learn how to give constructive, positive feedback. So even if you don't do the formal 360 degree feedback approach, at least give employees, give leaders the tools, the communication tools for how they can effectively and constructively and positively coach fellow employees so that everybody becomes a little more self-aware when it comes to their behavior and to their attitudes and their actions. And number six, finally, just talk about this. Talk about the impact that people's behaviors, that people's attitudes have on other people. Include this in your recruitment training, include this in your training, include this as a discussion point in your meetings to just raise awareness about this point. So people maybe think a little more about how their behaviors, their attitudes might be impacting the people around them. Share studies like this one. There was a University of California study recently that came out that suggests that for every encounter with a fun sucker we have, our odds of being happy 
are reduced by 7%. That's per fun sucker. So do the math. It adds up if you run into a lot of fun suckers. Conversely, every encounter you have with a positive person, a happy person, an anti fun sucking person, if you will, increases your odds of being happy by 9%. So talk about this. Raise this as a discussion point. Be open about it. Talk about how life is too short to work in a jerk filled fun sucking soul sucking workplace and everybody has to step up and take responsibility for how everyone else feels and everyone has to take responsibility for their own attitudes and their own behaviors what about you what do you do in your workplace to raise everyone's self-awareness when it comes to their attitudes, their behaviors, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my Inspiring Workplaces channel, please, I would invite you to do so. Hit the subscribe button. Join our growing community as we talk about inspiring, rocking workplaces.